What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel. I'm the host. If this is your first time viewing, thank you. If you find value in this video, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. Make this shit go viral, if you will. But this video is uh, is, is regarding confidence. And um, I just came from the gym right now. As you watch Sales Remaster, you're gonna see a lot of the vlogs are just those. They're video logs of me and commute to home, to the gym, or what have you. But this has to do with regards to confidence. And I'm gonna share with you an experience that I had, I, I believe, the very first time I sensed confidence. And how confidence just is not only about internal factors like that voice in your head or what you think of yourself or how you see yourself. A lot of it has to really do with external factors. And, um, and I'm gonna share with you my own personal experience because I was sitting in the gym right now and um, man, I gotta own up. I got lazy this last week. Um, you know, I, I literally went to the gym just once this last week and, and, and uh, I, I'm, I've been on the pace of going to the gym at least four or five times a week and so you, you get into that habit, you get into that, you know, you get into that rhythm. And um, I recently just came back from vacation with my family and you know usually at the when you when you're vacation with family you you know my my experience at least I mean there's a lot of discipline people watching this video so you probably continued working out but in my case I stopped man I'm, please believe I enjoyed the sun I enjoyed the time with my kids my family and uh, and I ate I literally ate anything and anything everything that I wanted because it was my vacation too so I I splurge on myself and I had a cheat day for an entire week and a half. <laughs> so anyway, this is my experience because I'm in the gym. Long story short is that I'm, I'm starting to notice that, nah, man, things are starting to jiggle now, right? My metabolism is not as strong as it once was, um, you know, 10 years ago. And so I'm feeling it and, you know, you notice things now and, and I'm not trying to be a bitch or I'm not, you know, or anything like that. It, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to be self-aware, right? And that's the valuable lesson, be aware. And I'm aware, I'm aware that now I got, now things are starting to get snug, things are starting to get tight. And so I, I started thinking to myself like, man, you know, I, I stopped myself, and because now I'm trying to really observe things from a third party, even though it's, I'm experiencing it, I try to um, tie everything together, like why am I feeling this way, why, you know, and I'm trying to just, you know, be on a, some spiritual level stuff. I read it, I'm reading it right now in the book, so I'm trying it out. And um, and so I, I, I did it. I, you know, I took a step back. And I'm like, why am I feeling this way? Oh, because I'm I, I have fear that I'm going to lose confidence. Like the whole point why I go to the gym, besides you know mental and physical health, is because it does a great deal for your sense of confidence. Your confidence is built by going to the gym because you feel good. You see results. You you know you're warm. You're you're primed. It's like you're warmed up. And so you feel like Spartacus, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're a Spartan at the end and, and that's what I love about it. You know, going to the gym, you, your clothes fit nice, you look good and that, that's a sense of confidence. And so I, 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 I went a little bit deeper with regards to confidence. Like when was my first time I experienced confidence? Now I'm gonna share with something with you guys. Again, I'm a little older so some of you watching may not remember some of the items here but you could still you know, understand the story. But when I was younger and I was a kid, probably around eight or nine years old, I used to, um, you know, when I went to school, I would see kids that wore these certain name brand clothes. And the name brand was called Cross Colors. If some of you guys remember Cross Colors. You, you know, you're an 80s baby, but um, it, it ultimately what it was was like Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Tweety Bird. It was all the, the Looney Tune characters dressed in baggy clothes. And if you remember when baggy clothes were a thing, that was the time, right? And so the, the, the image was, it was a picture of all the Looney Tunes wearing baggy clothes, looking like a, you know, like a 90s rapper, you know, and, um, and it was cool. Man, I thought it was just the, the best shirt on earth. I wanted one so bad. I used to just think about it and think about it. I used to draw pictures of the characters and just, and just imagine in my head, one day, one day I'm gonna get this, one day. And so um, when I when I had basically you know finally realized that my options were not necessarily as wide as some of the people that went, I went to school with, meaning that my selection did not have cross colors in it. My selection had three white tees for ten in it. My 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 t-shirts were all plain color, the hard cotton. You know what I mean, like the real hard cotton. Like after you wash it once, it's. It, it feels almost like sandpaper. Like those were those were my options, and I'm not complaining for that. You know, I grew up 
um, with a family that took me in, you know, is my is my mom's brother. So I, I'm not knocking on that for anything. I appreciate everything that they've done for me. But as a kid, you don't really realize it because shit, you expect it, right? And so you don't know any better. And so I used to get mad, you know, I used to be like, how come I can't have this? I really want that shirt. I want to look cool. I want to feel cool. And so long story short is, is um, you know, a couple months go by, bummed out, couldn't get the shirt. And uh, Christmas comes around on Christmas vacation. I, um, you know, I, I ended up opening the last present and that last present was that shirt. Man, I went nuts. You have no idea how, how, how much that external material item boosted my ego, boosted my confidence. Do you remember when you were a kid, like a kid kid, like maybe around 10 or younger, and uh, it was the day before school started, you had everything lined up, like you had your cool backpack, you had that op OPG <laughs> um, folder, you know, everything was ready, like man, you were ready, your shoes were laid out, you had your underwear, your socks all laid out, and just thinking to yourself, man, wait till they get a load of me tomorrow morning. <laughs> Everything was ready, right? And uh, so that's how I felt, you know. And of course, I had a couple more days. Actually, I think I had a week because, you know, the the Christmas and, and New Year's vacation. I think you're off school for like two weeks. And so, man, I couldn't wait. And I remember I, I didn't even want to wear it because I didn't want to take any chance that if I washed it, it would become like sandpaper like my other shirts. I just wasn't, I wasn't used to it. And so, um, you know, so a whole week goes by and I really, really wanted to wear it, but I didn't. I didn't touch it. I, I literally let it sit in the closet. I didn't let any of my shirts touch it because I was scared like some colored lint would get on it. And man, I was just planning. I kept playing it in my head, playing it in my head of, uh, of going to school with it on, you know, and everyone was like, oh, look at that. Yo, Dale's got the shirt. You know, that was the thing back then. And so I just envisioned it. And finally, so long story short, that day came. I will never forget how I felt putting it on, walking up to school, and just be so hyper focused on how everyone's watching me, looking at everyone's eyes, you know, making making sure I had it clear. I wasn't putting my arms right here to, to block it. You know, I took a little bit longer in walking just to see if anybody noticed. I was courting, man, and that was my first experience of confidence. And um, and the reason why I even I'm, I'm even bringing this up is because I was, you know, I was a chubby kid, and um, I didn't care about my physical appearance. All I cared was about that material item. And the punchline here is that that external items give you confidence all the time. And it doesn't have to be material. It could be voices within your within your area that give you confidence all the time. And in in that example. In my first first experience of, of real confidence, it was from a, a shirt. And I look back at it today and I think it's silly. I look back at it right now, you might be laughing because you remember the, the brand name and you remember you probably had that shirt or you remember you probably wanted that shirt bad. On the flip side, you probably looked at it and thought it was dumb, who knows. But at the end of the day, apply this story to an experience in where you first gained confidence. Share with me, You know, comment in the video. Um, say, hey man, I, this is my first experience in confidence. You know, share it with someone who you think could benefit from this video because I'm really gonna explain a deeper level of confidence. Besides the material things and besides the voices within your head, it's really your mindset. It's up to you to determine where your confidence is. Because when I was younger, confidence came in a shirt. Now, confidence comes from seeing my kids taken care of. Confidence now comes from having the ability to know that I could provide for my family. So it's actually, it's about as selfless as you can get right now for me. That's for me. And I'm not saying I'm fucking Gandhi. I'm not Confucius or anything like that. You know, I curse. I'm not perfect at all. I have my flaws, but my perception is now different. And so if you can understand that and the thing that you could take away from my story is that is that confidence really is up to you. Whether you find confidence by listening to music, whether you find confidence by going to the gym, or you find confidence in materialistic items, no one can judge you. Be you, boo. Just do you. Don't worry about, oh, I don't wanna buy this type of car because my mom and dad or my friends will think I'm bougie. Or I don't wanna wear that name brand because people are gonna judge me or gonna think about me. Don't pay no minds to them. Listen. If you need that to feel good about yourself, fucking do it. You know why? Is because when you put on that fine clothing, when you put on that good material, and when you get, when you step out of that car, you know, onto stage, and, and you you 
you you are hyper focused of how people are looking at you. You walk a little bit slower. You feel good. That's the confidence that you want. And in my opinion, I think that's the that's the reason why millionaires or billionaires, some of them will go all out. They'll buy a tremendous amount of cars even though they don't need it, right? Um, there's entrepreneurs that I know that have literally $5 million of cars. Probably entrepreneurs that you know who are on Instagram posting all those cars and you might think like, well, why Why would they do that? Why would they give like $2 million to charity? And it's because it, it, is, their, it is their cross-color shirt. And when they wear their cross-color shirt, they do more good for others because they're providing more services for others. That's their confidence booster. And anyone and everyone should know whenever you're confident and you're at the top of your game, you are naturally going to produce more. You're going to produce good, better vibes. You're going to produce a better frequency. Those around you are going to improve. Those around you are going to learn and, and grow. And because you're outputting so much value into the world, you're naturally attracting value into your own life. And so this is the circle, right? This is the, the circle of life, if you will. And so you know, don't think that just because Mark Zuckerberg wears the same shirt or or you see, you know, billionaires out there who are modest, that's them. Let them do them. Don't think that you have to be like them to be confident. Everyone has their own shit, right? Everyone finds confidence in a different way. Fuck, 20 years ago, I found confidence in some fucking cross-color shirt. It was a t-shirt. Now, today, I find confidence in knowing I can provide for my family. I find confidence knowing that I'm financially fit. I have confidence knowing that I am amazing at what I do for for a living. And, uh, and that's why I want to share this with you. I want to share it with you so you could find your confidence. You could be better in your life. You can get past your struggles. If you wake up sometimes and you doubt yourself or you question yourself or you don't do certain things because you're scared about the reaction of others, those are external things. Let them work to your advantage. Don't let them work to your disadvantage and you'll go far. Learn how to really leverage and utilize anything and everything around you understand that the role understand the role they play understand what it does to you and understand how you react and this is why i'm trying to look at things from a third party almost like like a spiritual level like i'm watching myself go through the sequence of life and how i react understand why i react that way find the root of why i react that way and try to adapt so I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that I did make sense and, um, and, and there's more content to come. So please like, comment, share, paste it on your LinkedIn, paste it on your Facebook if this makes sense. I appreciate you sharing the word and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.